guys, welcome back to my channel where I make videos about tech, unboxing, product reviews, events, and some fun stuff. And for this video, I will be talking about the benefits and perks when you're working for a tech company. So if you're interested and curious to know what the benefits and perks are, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay, so I know that there are a lot of people out there who are trying to find jobs or trying to transition into a different career where it pays better, has more benefits. Maybe some of you have heard of the big companies like Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google, Microsoft, and such. Those are examples of tech companies. So maybe you don't have that much idea on what the tech industry is about or you're just getting into the tech industry or have heard of the tech industry but don't really know more about it. I will be talking about the benefits and perks that you will get when you work for a tech company and why you should consider working for a tech company. So number one reason why you should work in tech is that it pays well. It really pays well when you start working for a tech company. They don't pay minimum wage even if you don't have any experience or a lot of background for the job. They would pay more than what the minimum wage is so that's really a good start for you if you're a fresh graduate or if you are transitioning your career to tech industry from a different background. That is a really good reason to shift your career. Also once you get a lot of experience, a lot of skills, you have been marketable and valuable with all of your knowledge and skills, you can earn up to six figures. And I'm not just talking about the engineers, the software engineers or the programmers. There's a lot of different job position in the tech industry that doesn't require coding and you can still earn as much as six figures. Next is bonuses. So I'm not just talking about the differential bonus or bonus that you get when you pick up extra hours. Some companies pay the bonuses every quarter, some company does it semi-annually so every six months and it all just depends on the company most likely if the company made a lot of profit for that year they will give more to your bonus also in the tech industry there is also what we call the signing bonus or the sign on bonus or the hiring bonus and that is the bonus that you get if you accepted the job offer it is very common for tech industry or the tech companies to do this because they are really looking for someone who is very skilled because that is really needed in tech and innovation so if you are very skilled and you have a special and you really are good in what you are doing and if you have a lot of experience on it most likely companies can offer you signing bonus of 5k just for you to sign in or you can get more if you are very skilled for that job next is holidays with pay when you work for a tech company you only work from Monday to Friday weekends off and you don't work on holiday but most of the holidays are with pay and some companies even pay for 8 to 11 holidays a year so that is really awesome so in my current company we have 11 paid holidays and I have a list here I'm gonna read it to you because I can't remember all of them so we have paid New Year Martin Luther President's Day, Good Friday, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving Day, and Christmas Day. So those are 11 paid holidays we have every year. So you don't have to worry about calling off on a special holiday because you want to be with your family and celebrating like Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving because those are all off and paid even for most of the tech companies. Tech companies also give a lot more PTO days. PTO stands for paid time off so this is also some days off that you can request and once it's approved it's also paid. So most tech companies give around 20 plus PTO days a year and our company has 22 days and I heard for bigger tech companies that are more known they give unlimited PTO days as long as it's approved so that is really good especially if you have finished a really big project and you, and you really need time off to de-stress and just relax you can have all of that time or if you also have an emergency at least that could be approved as well 
Also, a lot of tech companies gives a lot of perks, and it's not just the benefits that is mandatory for companies to give, like paid time off, sick leave, and stuff like that. But they also give perks, just like stipend. Stipend is a fixed, regular sum paid as a salary or allowance. So in our company, for example, we have stipends for bring your own devices. We use our mobile phone for our 2FA setup. We use our phone when we are on call if we want to work on something that is emergency. So our company gives us a monthly stipend to pay for our phone bill. So that's a fixed amount of allow, kind of an allowance that is given monthly for the phone bill. And also, if you are using your own laptop for work, you can also get a monthly stipend for that laptop as well. So that means that the tech company will provide for the devices that you will use at work. And you will not have to worry about finding a laptop that you have because it will be provided for you or you will be paid even if you use your own personal devices. Also, there are stipends for wellness and well-being and fitness and our company also provides stipend for gym so if you have a gym membership we get like monthly allowance to pay for our gym that's a fixed uh, amount of money that we get monthly as well so that also encourages people to get fit because the company pays for it also in a lot of companies now we have either paid lunches breakfast or dinner so next is my favorite perk when working in a tech company that is no dress code so most likely a tech company has a very chill environment because we are not customer facing we are working behind the scenes working on the development of software and products so we really have no need to be wearing any formal attire or or any uniform so there is no dress code you can basically wear anything you want anything that you're comfortable wearing as long as it's not inappropriate so even if you want to dress in just jeans shirt and slippers or or during the summer you can wear also shorts and tank tops and slippers that's fine a dress for girls if you want to if you choose to wear a gown, a suit, onesies, as long as you're comfortable and it's not offending anybody and it's not inappropriate, you can definitely wear it. Also another nice perk is that you're able to work remotely. So there are actually positions, job positions that can work remotely full time. If all that your job requires is a computer, then that means that you're able to work remotely. And sometimes even if your company doesn't allow you to work remotely full time, there's also there's also options to mix working from home and working in the office. So that's really good to have, especially if you have some emergency, you have the flexibility to just work from home if you want to or if you need to or work in the office also if you want to. Also, if you are working in a tech company, you gotta have a cool office space. So you have probably seen the Google offices. They have an open office layout where there are no cubicles or walls for or better collaboration and communication that's most likely true to most tech companies that's also what we have in our company we have an open space we even have game rooms a lot of the tech companies now are adding more amenities to their office spaces just like a game room like a large cafeteria with a snack bar or even an actual bar itself where they can serve beer and wine that's actually one of the amenities that you can have when you work for a tech company so the last benefit is most of the tech companies offer an employee stock options stock options are the right given to you by your employer to buy a certain number of shares of company stock at preset price. So I'm not really going to talk more about what that company stock option is or the employee stock option is and I'm not the right person to be talking about that but it's really good to know that tech companies are offering that too. Okay, that's it for today's video and I hope that you learned something and that might make you think of um, trying to work in tech. I'm telling you from my own experience that it has been amazing working in the tech industry for years and I am not regretting my decision to shift in this career. 
I think I'm gonna be working in this company for as long as I can. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please watch out for my next videos as well. Thank you so much for watching.